and Mrs. Drummond again, and we're going to go over all the things we've done really well on our recycling adventure and some of the things that we need to continue working on. You all see this big bin out here? This is our garbage bin. And they used to, King County used to come twice a week to pick this up and th dump it out into the landfill. Now they're only coming once a week, so we are doing a great job on recycling because King County, is only, King County only comes once a week to take all this garbage away. So well done, Margaret Mead. Now let's go discover and use our observational skills on things that we need to do better. Hi guys, I put on my science coat for to help me be a scientist with great observation skills. Because like I said, we're doing a pretty good job on recycling, but we definitely need to do better. You'll notice that there's some kids out here every day at lunchtime. They are the green team monitors right now. They are our SAC representatives who are offering their time to come out here and help you make sure that you're getting the right thing in the right place. So we really need to be respectful for them. Because remember, on our rules of communication at Margaret Mead, we respect other people. And they are giving up their time, so you need to respect what they tell you. Please do that for us. Thank you. So the other people, the other thing that happens afterwards, the older kids come through and they take an audit checklist. And we'll show you what that audit checklist looks like. They have to tell us what pod they're coming from and is there anything in the recycle building that doesn't belong there. And in fourth grade on this day, there was nothing in the recycle bin that didn't belong there. That's absolutely fantastic. Were there any liquids spilled in the recycle bin? And fourth grade, boy, you did a great job that day, and they said no. Is there anything in the garbage can that doesn't belong there? Well, there were a few things. Tr clean tray liners. Remember, on the recycling sheet, this wax tray liner, if it's not very dirty, even if there's just a little bit of food in it, you can put it in the recycle bin. If it's pretty clean, please recycle it. If it's really messy and full of um, pizza grease or something, then put it in the garbage. But remember to try to recycle it if it's clean. But well done and good job fourth grade. Now I'm going to look over really quickly some of the audits for other grades. This is kindergarten and they said, is there anything in the recycle bin that doesn't belong there? Yes. Oh gosh, those boats. Remember the boats are recyclable. The boats are recyclable, but they have to be emptied out. So empty your food into the garbage and put the boat in recycling. But otherwise, there wasn't anything in the garbage can that didn't belong there. So good job, kindergarten. Okay. Um, remember kindergarten, we need to put the food in the garbage and the boats and the clean wrappers in the recycle bin. Moving on, here's first grade. Whoops, some things in the recycle bin. The boats, make sure you don't, make sure you empty your food in the garbage and put the clean boats in the recycle bin. Also, juice containers. Juice containers like this and this, they go in the recycle bin, okay, first grade? Second grade, same thing. We have lots of food in the recycle bin. Food goes in the garbage. Boats and wrappers and juice boxes, they all go into the recycle bin. Moving on. Third grade. Same thing, third grade. We need to get better at this. We have food in the recycle bin. Food goes in the garbage. And all of these things are recyclable. You need to be very careful. Also, third grade, you must respect your monitors. Fourth grade, most of the time you're doing an awfully good job, but sometimes we have liquids. And this is where what's happening in fourth grade, fifth grade, and even sixth grade. Remember 
that milk cartons are recyclable, so we have to empty them out. When I'm looking at our recycle bin in third grade, I have, perfect, this is great, an empty milk carton, and that person put it in recycling. Awesome job. However, this milk carton is full of liquid, and as I'm looking around, I'm seeing there's other milk cartons, and they are full of liquid, so now that liquid is down here. You can see that it's all wet, and all this paper is now contaminated. So King County will look at this, and they'll say, we can't recycle this, because although everything in here is recyclable, it's too wet. So we're going to have to put this, unfortunately, in the garbage. And when I look through these monitoring reports, all of the things in the garbage is food, and recycling bin, sorry, is food and liquid. Food and liquid. We must do a better job of emptying up our milk cartons and then putting them in recycling. So as a quick overview, make sure all your food goes into the, into the garbage with all of these items, and then in recycling, just these items. Check over carefully and spend your time, because we need to make Margaret Mead a wonderful place to be and get that big, huge recycle bin, garbage bin, picked up even less than once a week. Also, one thing that we've noticed is lots of goldfish packages, they're so much fun to eat, but they have to go in the garbage. And Mr. Henry has noticed that there's lots of these in the recycle bin. So remember, garbage. Thanks. Alrighty, Margaret Mead, now we've really talked about lunch recycling, and it is all recycling, but it needs to be in little certain spots. And we're going we're gonna to help you figure that out. So if you notice, my recycle bin is quite full. So I'm going to go and recycle it right now. And I'll pick up this recyclable on my way out. <laughs> the lunch recycle and that's where we're going to recycle all of our lunch items but when we have classroom things like this it's just a bunch of paper and stuff we're going to go across our pod all the way over there and take care of this not in the lunch okay so I'm clear across the pod because that's where the paper recycling goes for third grade not in the lunch recycle nothing icky. Just kind of push it down a bit and then fourth grade is going to be able to get their recyclable in there too. Fourth grade, your lunch recycle is right there and your paper recycle is right across the way. Okay, so this is like the transition in some of the second grade rooms and you will see that even though this is the lunch recycle and they've got a great job in here, way way good, they've got all the right stuff in here, so fantastic. But you can see how Mr. Henry says it's way too full because they have all the Friday papers in and all the stuff the teachers needed to get out. So what we want to remember to do is this small recycle bin is for recycling of lunch items and right across the way is where we can take all these papers. So that's where yours is. That would be a great help for Henry. Now let's go to second grade and see where theirs is. Here we are right in front of the other second grades and first grade down there. There's their lunch recycle, the small bin, and their garbage. And then right over here is their big recycling bins. There's two of them, one for second grade and one for first grade because first grade's lunch recycle bin 
is just right there. So I'm going to throw this paper out for Miss Fisher because her class didn't get this all out. There we go, Miss Fisher. And now we'll go down and see where kindergarten is. There we go. All right, fifth grade, you're doing a pretty good job. Upon inspection, I see that for the most part you have all these great things in the garbage and in the recycling. Well done. But now what we want to do is, this is somebody's classroom, paper, and instead of putting it here in the lunch recycle, you're going to want to put all this paper right over here in the big bin. Woo! Look at that. Tons of fun. And I'm just going to take these out because they belong in the other recycle. But well done, fifth grade. Just swoosh that down. Nothing wrong with that. It's clean. And we'll go over here. Make sure this goes in here. I'll put this nice recycling bag back to Mr. Henry. All right. So using my scientific observation skills, I would say that Margaret Mead is doing a fabulous job on recycling. We're down to one recycle, one garbage pickup a week. Well done, Margaret Mead. And we still need to get a little bit better. No liquids in lunch recycling paper in the bigger bins across the hall from each pot. Excellent job, Margaret Mead, and we'll see you next time on the Margaret Mead Recycling Update.